we are on the 51st question what is the gradient of the straight line 2y is equal to negative 3x minus 8 to find the gradient we need to rewrite the given equation in the form y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and the c is the y-intercept so we divide through by 2 to get this now we can simplify this then this also goes here 4 times so this will give us this and comparing this Compare this equation to this we have m is equal to negative 3 over 2 therefore the slope is negative 3 over 2 number 52 refers to the following arrow diagram which shows a function f which of the following best describes the function so now we need to find an equation we have several ways you can do it you can just pick values and plug into it to see whether all of them satisfy it so another way to do it is to derive the equation yourself and that in doing that we have several ways one of the ways is we use this find a difference in the y values over the difference in the x values so 5 to 3, the difference is 3, the constant difference, then the difference is 3, then 14 minus 11, the difference is 3. So it might be constant for you to be able to use this. Then let's check this, this, this difference too, this the difference is also 3, 3, 3. So it means we have 3 over 3 x plus c which is the same as y equal x plus c now at this point any of this pair should satisfy this so that we can find the value of c so we can pick 5 8 8 11 2 5 or 11 14 so for simplicity sake let's pick 2 5 so we substitute 5 here and 2 here and we solve for c to get c is equal to 3. Now we substitute the c back right here to get y is equal to x plus 3. So that is the equation y is equal to x plus 3. So 52 and that is a. Now let's look at 53. If each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 60 degrees, then the polygon is so the exterior angle of a regular polygon each exterior angle so each each exterior angle is given by each exterior angle is given by 360 degrees over n so if the angle is 60 we have to equate this expression to 60 to get 360 over n is equal to 60 degrees now let's swap the positions let 60 come here and we let n also come here to get 360 over 60 is equal to n so that will give us 6 therefore a polygon with 6 sides is called a hexagon so the polygon is a hexagon item 54 refers to the following diagram so this is Diagram A, B, and C, D are parallel. So this line and this line are parallel lines. Which of the following best describes the relation between X and Y? So we know that alternate angles are equal. So alternate interior angles are X and Y are alternate interior angles. So because they are equal, we have X to be equal to Y. Therefore, the correct choice is A. Now let's talk about 55. Item 55 refers to the following diagram of an isosceles triangle. In the triangle, 
the value of x is so we know the sum of angles in a triangle will give us 180 degrees so let's use the values x plus 30 plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 um proceed in we, we, we subtract 60 from both sides to get this x to be 180 120 degrees so the answer is this now let's proceed with question 56 the image of a point this point negative 2 3 under a translation 3 4 is so to find the image of this point under this translation we just add the translation vector this vector to a position vector corresponding to p and that will give us means we have to write p as a column vector so this is one way of doing it we have another way you can just decide to do it in point form so we have 3 minus 2 4 plus 3 and that will give you 1 7 so you write this as a point to get 1 comma 7 so this is your answer so another way you can do it is just add negative 2 to 3 then you also add 4 to 3 add 4 to 3 and that will give you the image so the image point will be 3 minus 2 is 1 then 4 plus 3 is 7 so you can do it as quick as that now we have this 57 item 57 refers to the following diagram of two straight lines so you can see that for this straight line the distance from a to, to line x equals 0 which is the y axis is the same as the distance from c to the y axis so the same thing applies here the distance from b to the y axis is the same as the distance from d to the y axis we can see that we see that after this one two three there's one unit beyond also one two three one unit beyond so we can see that this is a reflection in the y axis so the correct choice is option d a no option b the reflection in the y axis now item 58 refers to the following pair of similar triangles so these two triangles are similar we want to find the area of triangle m and o we want to find the area of this triangle if the area of abc is 20 so we can see that this has been reduced to obtain this so we need to first of all determine the scale factor so the scale factor is given by 3 over 6 which is 1 over 2 and when we simplify further when we need to use this to determine the area of the triangle so for the scale factor corresponding to the area we need to square the scale factor of the size which is 1 over 2 squared and that will be equal to that will be equal to 1 over 4 times 20 and that will give you 5 centimeters squared so this is one way of doing it now let's look at item 59 so item 59 refers to the following diagram which shows an enlargement so o a a prime o b b prime so this line and this line are straight lines triangle abc abc is mapped onto triangle a prime b prime c prime this triangle by an enlargement with center o what is the scale factor of the enlargement so to find the scale factor we find the image length over the corresponding object length so we can use this one that is this length c prime a prime over c a 
so that will give you four units over two or you can use this one c prime b prime over c b which is two over one and that will give you two so the scale factor is two now our last question for this paper is this um, item 60 refers to the following diagram the diagram above not drawn to scale shows that the angle of depression of a point x from z is 30 degrees if x is 10 meters from y the height of y z in meters is so you know because we are using this is power to this so by alternate interior angle theorem this angle is also 30 degrees so we know we know an angle and we want to find the opposite knowing the adjacent so we can use the so called to a tangent ratio and 30 will be equal to opposite yz over adjacent xy so we substitute to get this and when we multiply both sides by 10 by 10 and by 10 so that we get rid of this then we will obtain 10 and 30 degrees is called yz so 10 and 30 is option a now that's that's our final question for this paper we are going to upload more paper more tutorials will be also coming very soon I wish you all the very best in your exams also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also my second channel now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe